Okay, let's break that down a little bit more. I know, Miguel, that you and I talk about this kind of stuff every day. But when you say punitive, so if you file a civil suit against whoever you feel is negligent based on, on the facts of the case, then you ask for damages. Break those damages down for an understanding right. of what you would seek. Sure. So there are different types of damages. You have non-economic damages, which really go to the pain and suffering. You have economic damages, which go to the bodily injury and the loss of wages or loss of earnings. And then you have punitive damages, which are damages not to really compensate the plaintiff, but to punish the defendant or deter future action uh, from the defendant like that. And based on your experience with what happens on sets, the punitive damages is, uh, you know, I understand from a lot of different legal analysts that there's already a process in place that it wasn't followed here. So do you think punitives would be useful in a case like this to change practice moving forward? You know, when this, first, this story first broke out, I did not think that punitives would be something we would be talking about today. But the more and more uh, stories that come out every day, I definitely think that punitives will be uh, thrown in any lawsuit that goes against the production company or the producers. Uh, to punish this particular production company, as well as to deter future behavior from any film company in the future. So I definitely think that they will definitely be in play. And what about when you talk about pain and suffering, uh, you know, as an outsider not involved in lawsuits, I think that some may look at this and say, obviously, Sousa was injured and those injuries need to be compensated, medical bills, et cetera, paid. However, what about the pain and suffering part? What other is emotional trauma something that you see in these cases, for instance? Yes, all the time. And in this case, I mean, we have a PTSD claim that I know that's going to be brought up by Mr. Souza because of the trauma that he suffered. I mean, right now, we are not even sure if he's going to be able to direct any uh, movies in the future. I don't know his state of mind to be able to direct any movies in the future. Uh, anytime there's a, a weapon on set, I think that is going to be the hardest part in any lawsuit, right? Because we're going to have to see how much trauma he had. And, and since that can be very subjective, it, you know, that's something where the damages in terms of numbers uh, may fluctuate quite a bit. And, and I do, also, oh, mm -hmm. go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, what I was going to say, too, is that also there's there's a big case for a uh, claim for loss of earnings for Mr. Souza uh, in a normal case. In a normal negligence case, you would have loss of earnings if the injury affects the plaintiff uh, in his ability or her ability to work in the future. And as I just mentioned, there's a big, I think, issue with PTSD and his ability to direct the movie in the future, right? So are his wages going to be impacted in the future? I think so. How do we determine that? In a civil case, we bring in an expert called an economist. And the economist, his his or her role is to determine how much, in terms of lost wages, uh, will be impacted by Mr. Sousa.